Hello everyone, welcome to Dental Education Hub YouTube channel. In this video lecture, we are going to discuss about the zinc oxide eugenol dental cement. So what we are going to cover in this session, we will briefly talk about uh, eugenol containing dental cements, the dispensing and the composition of zinc oxide eugenol cement, the setting reaction of the zinc oxide eugenol and what are the applications or the uses of zinc oxide eugenol cement. And at the end, we will discuss the adverse reactions that are sometimes associated with the zinc oxide eugenol cement. So watch this lecture till the end. So the odor or the scent of the dental surgeries or the dental office in the past is due to the use of eugenol or oil of cloves containing dental materials. Some of the examples of the eugenol containing dental materials are the zinc oxide eugenol cement and zinc oxide eugenol impression paste. These materials, the zinc oxide eugenol containing material are bactericidal and at the same time they have a positive effect or the anti-inflammatory effect on the dental pulp. So how the material is supplied and what is the composition of the uh, zinc oxide eugenol cement. The zinc oxide eugenol uh, cement, it is available in two forms. One is available in form of powder and liquid bottles. So, and the second form in which the zinc oxide eugenol uh, cement is available is in the two paste forms. So what is the composition of the zinc oxide eugenol? So in case of powder and liquid bottles, the, the powder, it contains zinc oxide, which is the main ingredient of the dental cement. And the second component is the zinc acetate, which acts as an accelerator. The liquid, it contains eugenol, which is the main ingredient of the liquid and the olive oil it is also added and the olive oil it control the viscosity of the liquid besides zinc acetate high temperature and humidity and moisture it also increases the setting reaction of the cement so now what is the setting reaction of the zinc oxide eugenol cement the zinc oxide, which is present in the powder, it reacts with the residual water that is present in the liquid and it forms zinc hydroxide. The zinc hydroxide then reacts with the eugenol to form zinc eugenolate, which is the final form of the set, set form of the zinc oxide eugenol cement. The initial setting, it occurs within 6 to 10 minutes. However, the final setting, it may take about 12 to 24 hours. Now, what are the uses or the clinical applications of the zinc oxide eugenol dental cements? So, the clinical applications are, it is used as a cavity base and lining materials, especially under metallic restoration, such as dental amalgam. So, it prevents the thermal conduction uh, or the heat transfer uh, to the dental pulp. It is also used as a temp for the temporary cementation of the crown and bridges. It is uh, zinc oxide eugenol cement is also used for as a temporary filling material. And sometimes it is um, used for periodontal dressings after periodontal surgery. There are several modifications that are done in zinc oxide eugenol cement to improve the strength of the cement and to decrease the adverse uh, reactions that are associated with the cement. For example, one of the modification is uh, the eugenol in the liquid component. It is replaced by carboxylic acid and we call these cements as non-eugenol zinc oxide cements. Another modification is uh, around 20 to 40% powder, it is replaced with the polymer to increase the strength of the cement. And sometimes there, 
the alumina particles, they are added into the powder to increase the strength of the uh, zinc oxide eugenol cement. So these are a few of the modifications in the zinc oxide eugenol cement. So the adverse reactions of, uh, associated with the zinc oxide eugenol cement. So uh, the adverse reactions are, um, for example, if the cement is placed in the deep cavities, so sometimes it may result in the necrosis of the dental pulp. The eugenol component, um, it may cause angular chelitis or sometimes the cement, it may cause allergic perioral eczema. Thank you very much for watching. Do give us your feedback in the comments. Stay blessed.